what's going on guys we are doing t lad episode two but of course because none of this has any rhyme or reason uh we're gonna do something completely different episode two of t lad is going to be uh very 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 simple right we are going to as a group discuss the uh best possible characters for you to bring in to dark dimension four for global now we're gonna base this tier list or dog shit video uh on three factors right we're gonna talk about the cost to invest in the character as point one we're gonna talk about their usability and viability in dark dimension as point two and we're going to talk about their usefulness outside of the game uh i like to call it now the thanos principle where a character might not inherently be amazing uh within the confines of the uh the game mode but because they're so useful uh outside of that game mode that you might as well bring them in anyway like they're good enough so those are the three criteria we're gonna base this on and if you don't like that stop watching this fucking video because your opinion means nothing so let's take a quick look i have the global i brought it up on the other side now right here uh it's roughly alphabetized now the tiers so everybody can get a full understanding of it there's s a b and trash uh s is the best a is good b is acceptable or fine and trash is dog shit uh and then you see these stars not plus signs stars because people commented on it last time stars uh is a kind of a statement of like well they can be really good uh, with the right comp or with the right setup and you'll see really quickly what I mean by that so uh, an S star character is like generally an A character but because you can use them uh, with the right setup or because a very specific thing they are absolutely phenomenal you're not going to see a lot of starred characters a lot of questionable starred characters because this is a tier list for value in DD4 so just consider it like a way to separate the obvious great choices from the all right they're great but like you got to do a lot of work on it or conversely imagine that you need high red stars or a high investment in the character in order to get it up there so we're going to start off there alphabetically speaking the first global character on this list is beast nope we are not bringing beast into dark dimension four boys it's not happening does he do stuff yes are they relevant for dark dimension nah. is he going to be relevant to invest in outside of it nah. he's a mutant Mutants are uh, very hard to come by comparatively to the other mutants you can bring into global. He is very low on the list. Sure, you can get value out of him. Dog shit. Dog shit for this line. Next, we're going to go straight to Captain America. Captain America gets a questionable A. Captain America does provide a really good source of value for Dark Dimension. Um, uh, specifically with the right kind of comp. Uh, you can do a lot with him. Not on his own, not because of his independent value, but just because of what he does. So Captain America, we're going to give him like almost a great A. Like in, in the same line of conversation. Can be useful, probably isn't the best option for that. Uh, but the biggest thing that's holding him back is his cost is bio. And there is too many good bio characters throughout the game let alone for dark dimension 4 to justify using it on him uh you can it's reasonable that's why he's a little bit higher than most but not totally great uh moving next we have who's next what is it killmonger there's got to be one of these guys is global right oh all of aim sure sure all of aim this is going to be real easy good good actually that's a meme and you know why i did it and if you don't know why i do it you're not paying enough attention to dark dimension so you probably should pay attention to what people have done <laughs> that was actually hilarious when that happened <laughs> thanks to dono for making this a reason no seriously it's garbage uh colson so Coulson is in the exact same conversation as Beast. Can you use him? Of course. Of course you can. 
He's totally useful. You could think of a whole bunch of things, but you shouldn't go out of your way to do it. He's not like single-handedly carrying you through the team. If, if anything, you need to build a comp around him, and I don't even know if that comp exists for Dark Dimension to get the most value out of Coulson. And he's a tech character, and investing in him doesn't give you too much value outside of the game. Coulson, not even very high up on this list. Not even, like, close to it. Ant-Man. So, Ant-Man is going to get a little bit of a, of a similar question mark. Ant-Man's before A. A? a C. A? C. A. Um, this is going to be hard to pick. Uh, he's going into here at the star level because you you can get value out of him building that entire team. Um, oh, I never said I was smart. Uh, <laughs> I'm stupid. So now we are on the same page, guys. Uh, Ant-Man, you can get value out of him. Uh, it's reasonable with his team, but only with his team. So that's what that star is letting you know. If you're building him up with his team, uh, he's not in ter he's not a terrible situation, but uh, eh. no, he's he's better than some of the other options. Um, he's fine. Now a lot of people are gonna look at this, but like, come on, Cap is better than Ant Man, and to that I say you're welcome to your own opinion. Uh, now what else we got going on here? No, oh w Black Panther, Black Panther. I had no idea, Black Panther. Let's see. Problem solved. Black Widow is in the same... Black Widow's actually interesting. Black Widow gets the solid A, right? Black Widow gets the solid A because even if you don't use a specific comp, she's very cheap. Uh, she does something very useful in Dark Dimension by protecting herself and speeding up the teams. And uh, you don't actually hate the investment you have in her going outside. Uh, she's a very reliable option for Dark Dimension. Is she one of the best options? Uh, well, we don't have any S characters, so as of right now, yes. But she's pretty good. No, it's not. This is T Lad for DD4. Uh, what else we got? Let me just look at this list. Uh, we got Baron Zemo, which is funny because he starts with a Z, so he's definitely down here on my sheet. But he is Baron Zemo. Uh, Baron Zemo is the exact same conversation. You can even make a small argument to bring him up here. I'm just not going to. Good character, good investment, great outside of the game. Like, totally worth the investment outside of the game mode. Inside of the game mode, he does do something, and it's something that's very good. Uh, but he is a very costly upgrade comparative to Black Widow. So that's what brings them into the same kind of tier. Black Widow is cheap and is good, Zemo is a little bit better, but way more expensive. And that balances them out uh, a little bit more. So these are very useful characters. Don't feel bad about it. But don't believe that you're doing the absolute best thing for yourself by uh, by putting them up. So that ends him up. Uh, what's Blob doing? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure someone's going to justify the deflects in this conversation. I'm sure someone's going to say, that's it. He's a mutant. He's a relatively, uh, comparatively expensive mutant compared to, like, someone like Sabretooth. Uh, and then what he does itself isn't fundamentally important enough for the team. Now, you might be able to get away with some ISO 8 sh shenanigans, but, uh, he's not necessarily a part of a team that I'm going to be using. He's a standalone character. Yeah, maybe, when you see these B characters, maybe if you have high red stars, you can consider them more than anybody else, that kind of thing. Someone said Colossus. Um... Cool. 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 Uh, some, I might, I might argue that there's a world where you can use, um, Cyclops with, like, a, a specific comp, but I'm not going to. Fuck Cyclops. All right, what else we got? We're doing alphabetical, guys. That's how the alphabet works. So let's see, Deadpool. Ooh. Doom, obviously, is not going to be used in Dark Dimension 4 in any reasonable way. Domino, equally useless. Elsa Bloodstone, 
Equally useless. Emma Frost. Emma Frost, we'll talk about a little bit. Emma Frost is worth the investment outside of the game mode, worth the investment inside of the game mode, and uh, uh, fundamentally, just a really, really good character. She is relatively and comparatively expensive, um, but as being one of the best characters in the game, and still adding something to the game mode, uh, that's enough to justify her cost. Her cost is not so great as to diminish from the value that you get from the rest of the characters. Um, Drax is not global. Uh, what else we got? We got Falcon. Falcon is, uh, probably somewhere in, like, this range. I would actually say he's probably as useful as Zemo. Um... Yeah, I gotta, I gotta imagine she's as useful as Zemo and as you like in the same conversation. I don't think he ever breaks up to here, but his special and his ability to clear some buffs with his ultimate is meaningful enough. Uh, for global, kind of hard to justify uh, uh, the tech character, so that brings him down a little bit. But if you have the investment, uh, that does bring him down a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if the speed up is worthwhile. I think this maybe falls down a little. Just because I think it really is relying on the rest of your team. You know, like, he doesn't just carry the team to victory like she might. And she doesn't independently make the team better. Like, what these characters are adding to it. He kind of makes the rest of the team better. So, like, he's there, but you really it goes harder on the team than anything else. We're good here, right? I don't got to talk about ghosts and why the Dark Dimension character is good in Dark Dimension. Good. Uh, there's actually a little bit more of a value add to Graviton. Uh, Graviton is not complete trash. If you use Scientist Supreme, who is better than Graviton, Graviton becomes a viable secondary option. Um, but, again, Bio character brings him really low on the list. Hawkeye. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, I think Hawkeye works well if you bring Black Widow in and in no other situation. Because of that, I'll give him a little bit over trash, but he has good stuff. He does good things. He's relatively inexpensive, but because he kind of needs to be there, it's not really uh, on the line. It's not really something I would recommend uh, anyone doing. Hulk is also the same conversation. Uh, I think Hulk actually gets better if you have like high investment with Black Widow, but on his own, I wouldn't touch him with a 10-foot pole or with, uh, you know, your dick and someone else pushing. Uh, all of these Hydra characters uh, are also... Now, obviously, I can go into detail and find some quite situation where if I was using these characters under these circumstances with Red... Don't bother. Fuck your Hydra team. Fuck investing in them. We're done. Conversation's over. Iron Man. Uh... Not, not under any circumstances. Not under any circumstances. Can't do it. Like, for the same conversation, uh, Iron Heart is, is, like, at least Iron Heart has a ability block and a team-wide, uh, defense down. Let's see. Where is Iron Heart? Yeah, we'll put her here. Uh, because she can be useful, but it's probably not worth the investment. But I also don't think she's that expensive, because I got her up to, like, gear tier 13 real easy. So she might not be that expensive, but still not somebody you're prioritizing. Uh, let's move to Juggernaut. Uh, so Juggernaut's really weird. So he takes Mystic Gear, which actually doesn't... There's not a lot of characters that you prioritize on the Mystic Pool, so it's reasonable, Right? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Iron Man is legendary. My bad. Thanks for pointing that out. Thank you so much. I forgot. So, uh, yeah, nobody else here is legendary. I'm just doing a quick scan. So, Juggernaut... Uh, I just think Juggernaut, what he offers is a good value. But I don't think it's it's inherently the best thing I've ever seen. So, like, he's a fine option because of his Mystic and because of his survivability. Also, putting Healer on him is very relevant as you're throwing it across. Maybe you can get a little bit of value if you bring in a different character. But he's roughly the same as Blob for the conversation. Cheap, effective, not high priority. 
Uh, let's check out M'Baku. Guys, where do you think M'Baku's going? Don't worry. Where does he go? Oh, there he is. Bye. Uh, now we got Mr. Sinister. Whew. There's Mr. Sinister. No questions asked. This guy's the best. This guy's the best at everything. Best investment outside of the game. I, did I skip a few... I skipped a few global characters? No, I didn't. I didn't skip a few global characters. Uh, let's see. Mystique. Uh, Mystique actually is, like, fine if you're bringing in Sinister. She and Sabretooth are roughly going to be in the same conversation. Um... They're fine if you bring in Sinister, but independently, the investment in them is not amazing. Uh, somewhere in here, and I'm feeling a little generous, so I'm going to give her that. Like, if you're bringing in Sinister, she can become one of the high... Like, if you're going all... Oh, actually, Mutant. We already have good Mutants that are worthwhile. She doesn't get up there. And she's, uh, she's cheap enough that it might be okay. Whatever, who cares? None of this matters. Tear whistle dog shit. Namor. <laughs> oh, God. Negasonic Teenage Warhead. I actually think she's somewhere in the same range as, uh... As Ironheart. Like, she's, she's better than these characters, but... I, th I don't know how bad Mutant makes her. She has a Dispel. Nah, she's useless. Garbage. Not even worth it. N uh, legendary. Okoye. Oh, guys. Guys, we got to Okoye. If you didn't see it, that's trash. Uh, we got Psylocke. Psylocke's actually a little bit better because she has some control. Pyro. Uh, Pyro's kind of the same conversation as Psylocke. Uh, no. Yeah, Pyro is better than Garbage, but only slightly. Quake. Did I not do Killmonger? How did I skip Killmonger? That's crazy. <clears throat> Killmonger is a skill character, worthwhile investment outside of the game mode, and has self-sustain that makes him somewhat relevant. He is a reasonable investment. Not quite as good as someone like Zemo, but uh, not unrealistic to invest in. But all mutants, is NTW better than Pyro or Psylocke? Not for Dark Dimension 4, no. Uh, the new Notice I don't have the new... Uh, I don't believe I have all the new characters yet. Do I? Yeah, there are new characters in this pool that I don't quite have yet. Unless I do see Kitty. Unless you see Kitty somewhere that I don't. No, there's Iceman, so Kitty's got to be here. Kitty's a global character. Uh, she's probably in the same conversation here. I made th this is custom, like I made this, so like these are all the the add-ons. Roma Alpha. I'm terrible at words. I don't words at all. Let's put Iceman in here too. Fart noise. Why is Iceman here? Because he's not even in the game yet. And if he is in the game, how many people are going to have him at a star and red star level high enough and investment level high enough that it's going to be conservative? Is he great? Who gives a shit? No one cares. Tear whistle dog shit. Red Skull. No, dude. Not even. Where's Red Skull? Not even. He's actually a little bit better. Yeah, Red Skull. Uh, red Skull is like a hair better because he's got some decent investment. And he's, uh, what is he, bio? Ugh, garbage. Get out of here. Get out of here. No. At least he's a decent tank on his own. He's in the same conversation as these idiots. We'll keep that going. Uh, rescue. <laughs> rescue. Ah. ah, great. You know what's funny? No. No. I was just trying to justify any of her abilities. Like, not even. <laughs> no, it's useless. Useless information. Oh, shield? Alright, guys. Here's the shield team. You know what?
Here you go, guys. We've created a new tier called the Super Trash Dummy Tier. And it's just for him. Like, that's the tier for, like, people who lick windows clean. Why is it... No. Oh. Super trash dummy tier. Yeah, the STD tier. That's the best. Who's that guy next to Vision? Where? Oh, this guy? <laughs> this is uh, one of the, the generic models. <laughs> uh, Yelena's also, like, somewhere around here. She's useful if you work a little bit on her, but she's not a high priority. But she has skill. Uh, skill gives them a little bit more value than trash. And these guys are all skill, too. You know what's funny? Medic's actually a little bit higher value than the rest of these characters, too. Res chance plus decent healing. Medic gets a little bit more work than the rest of the shield characters. Now we got Sabretooth. Sabretooth uh, is in the same conversation. He's dirt cheap and a decent investment outside of the game mode. Uh, so he pairs well with it, but only with it. If not for building around some of these characters up here, Sabretooth falls to a regular B. Um, people just calling out words, forgetting how alphabets work. Love you guys so much. You guys make this... You guys are just proving my point that tier lists are dog shit. Scarlet Witch. Adorable. Garbage character. Scientist Supreme. I think Scientist Supreme actually gets a little... I think Kalark, uh, when we were talking about it earlier, Scientist Supreme gets a little bit too much trash. Uh, Scientist Supreme is... Like, Scientist Supreme is generally a good character. He becomes a decent character to use. The problem is she is tech. And it's not a huge investment. Remember how you forgot? I don't know how words work either. All I know is that if I'm talking about Scientist Supreme, characters that start with U and V are definitely not a, a next. <laughs> uh, stature. Did I even put Stature in here? Stature's another one that gets that, like, Ant-Man treatment. Uh, conversely, I'm also going to solve this problem right now while I'm here and put Yellow Jacket as just fundamental. Nah. I don't know. He's one of these two. I, I, you know what? Since this is about an opinion, and I like Yellow Jacket, I'm giving him an A because Tyrus are dog shit. It doesn't matter, and you shouldn't respect them or people who do them. Um, where's Storm at? Storm. Oh my God! So many people tried to make Storm happen. I guess she's a hair better than not using Storm, but like whatever. Useless. Strife. Strife is better than Storm with Sinister, and he's better than Colossus. Period. Um, but I still don't think he's good. Yeah, I think he goes generic protector. He might even, like, I think he gets to a B tier, but he doesn't get higher if you are using Sinister in that. There might be a note or two, and he's still very expensive. He actually takes the same resources as Emma, so, like, fuck him. Um... What do we got? Taskmaster. Taskmaster is like a hair under Zemo. He's a good investment. He's a good investment outside the game mode, but... That turn one blind only available every fucking five turns is definitely going to hurt you. Colossus? Useless. Yeah, Colossus for Dark Dimension? Useless. He's not even good, like, within the confines of, like, building a team around him. He's completely useless for Dark Dimension 4. Ultron. Uh, good investment, but very expensive. Not... Uh, good investment outside in the game. Good investment inside the game, but not quite. I might even drop him down a little bit. He goes somewhere around here. He's expensive, but, like, you also get a lot of value out of his, his investment. So, like, he goes here, maybe here. You guys can decide. I don't care. Ultron's better. Like, I just hate the amount of people that think Ultron isn't good anymore. Those are people who are probably taking their advice from tier lists. It doesn't hurt as much as people think it is. Uh, Vision. Vision has an ability block and an ability way to buff clear, which would be great if he had the focus to do either of those things, and he doesn't, so it's garbage. Uh, War Machine. Sorry, bro. 
I'm not going to put tech gear in a character that, like, half of his damage that only comes by every nine hours uh, requires me to have all heroes when, like, all of the best characters for global I put right here are villains. <laughs> like, sorry, War Machine. Useless. Useless investment. Worthless. Uh, Wasp is actually in the same kind of conversation here, but still worse, so fuck Wasp. Uh, and then we have, what, X-23? X-23 is actually reasonable. Reasonable investment. Uh, good damage, especially with Raider, you're constantly putting the buffs on. Uh, a, she has an ability block, it's pretty often. She has a little bit of self-sustain, but again, mutant character requirements are too high. And Yo-Yo, uh, the biggest problem with Yo-Yo is her bio requirement. We missed Toad? Cool. Let's do one more scan. None of these guys look globally to me. Is she Hulk global? Asking for a friend. I truly don't know. I missed Wolverine? Guys, if I miss the character in a tier list... That says everything you have to say. <laughs> if I forgot to add the character in a tier list... <laughs> you forgot generic civilian? Just doing a quick scan, making sure... Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. So... Magneto is not a global character. He's a legendary character. Here you are, guys. The tier list. It's over. Again, this is completely arbitrary. If the information helps you, you can then tell everybody that it was the most helpful piece of information in the world. And if it doesn't help you, you're a liar liar whose pants are on fire and your opinion is useless. Tier list or dog shit. Have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scongeli, and I'll catch you later.